Baruch here with Jen Connect and Meg Gibson. Hi. So Meg, you're working with Anna Devere Smith. I am. You're tackling race, which is a major, major issue. Well, not only am I tackling race, but I'm tackling playing the role of Margaret Mead. And, uh, you know, Margaret Mead is just iconic in our culture. She was such an important woman and the first really, you know, sort of known by all levels of many aspects. Many, many, many Americans were aware of who Margaret Mead was through the whole 20th century. And um, there's an enormous contribution that you make. And, you know, I'm just sort of getting getting to a place where I really am getting to have a very full sense of what kind of co contribution she, she made. Now, on a very superficial level, yeah. one might look at you and say, what sort of experience on a really deep level have you had with race? How do you know about race? Well, it's very interesting because I grew up in South Jersey, and of course, we, you know, we were, it's called the Garden State for a reason, and there's lots of, you know, fields. And so I was aware of the different colors of people when I was growing up, um, but it was a very, very segregated community. But um, since I live in New York City, and uh, I'm an artist in New York City, it's important that you figure out a way to, to keep living there and, and not spend a lot of money on rent and housing. And so I moved to Washington Heights in 1992, which is predominantly a, a Latino community. And it was a really important experience for me because for the first time in my life, I experienced being a minority. Now, Certainly, my experience of minority is nothing compared to the minority of someone who was in Mississippi, you know, in 1964. I, any, anything close to that. And I, I, I certainly want to make that clear that I never had that kind of experience. But it was a real... It was a real growing experience for me to sit on the A train through Harlem and nobody would sit next to me simply because I was white. Now that changed. Because as we all got to know each other, that fear dissipated and there began to be, uh, you know, a trust between us. And it's unspoken, it's on a very psychic level, but it does change. But you have to come together in order to do it. We're talking about your experiences of racism. Yes. How important is it when you're going into a role that you've had direct experiences in your life that relate to your role? Well, it varies because, of course, imagination is a very powerful thing. But in this particular case, you know, Margaret Mead is, is very much like my family. I mean, I grew up in South Jersey. Bucks County is not that far away, and uh, there's many times I feel like I'm really accessing my own ancestors in this, in this experience, because while they might not have come out and really said they were white progressives, they were, because they were never racist in any way. I never heard, and they're never, it was never allowed, it was never, it was just a given that that kind of thing was not allowed in our household when we were growing up, and my ancestors were the ones that, that put that in place. Meg, thanks so much. Thank you so much. It's lovely to be here. And for more with Meg Gibson, be sure to check out Gen Connect.